doing well. Today we're checking out a game called Archon's Arena. Now this is a standard deck building game. If you played something like Slay the Spire, you're going to be right at home here. But there are some twists at play. Uh, I'm going to start out by choosing my shopkeeper, Old Ben. He's a dog guy. If you're a, sh if you're a cat person, you can go with Haruna. But we're an Old Ben person, so here we go. Now, this game is developed by a company called Vesperay. They're also publishing it and sponsoring this video, so thank you so much for that. Uh, what's the twist? Well, the twist is that there's some RPG elements here. And what you need to do is buy and sort of maintain weapons and armor uh, that enable you to use skills. Skills are actually the cards that you're uh, building your deck with, and they're enabled by the items. So you start out with 150 gold. You've got three skills that you can buy. A couple of things right off the bat to note. So you can carry two weapons, you can equip one piece of armor, and you can equip two of these crystals. So off the bat, I think we're going to go like a blunt weapon approach here. This one's really good. Now, here's the thing. If you see a weapon and you can afford it, you should probably buy it because these this randomizes between rounds. Um, but we're going to start out a little basic. We're going to buy a mace. It's a basic weapon. costs 50 bucks, 10 uses. I'm going to buy this shield to enable some shield abilities and some blocking. That's another 50. And then I'm going to buy this crystal. It's an energy crystal. So right now in the top left, you'll notice I have two energy to, to uh, spend on cards. I'm going to go up to three. That makes things significantly different. So then once you do that, you come into here and you buy the cards. So this is going to add five block cards for one of the uh, experience points. And I'm going to buy five bash cards. So it deals two damage for one. It's pretty nice. If you look at the swords, you can see this kind of does a little bit of both. The sword might be pretty nice because you're you're kind of dealing medium damage, but also getting some block. But this, you're dealing higher damage. Some of it unblockable. Some of it does wounds and stuff. Um, so it's just something to, to keep in mind. Now with the third one, what should we do? Because there's also some stuff back here. Maybe we'll get into that in a second. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab Heavy Bash, get some some unblockable stuff going. Let's get into our first fight. Our first few fights should be absolute stomps, okay? So uh, you can see if you've played any deck build, you're going to be right at home here. This guy's going to attack me for one. I can't kill him on turn one because I, I can only deal five damage. So I'll hit him twice here, and we'll do some block. Now, he does have some hidden effects. And there's a, there's a thing that we can buy that will reveal these hidden effects, and I will do that. Because until you memorize all the enemies, it's really tough to know what's going on back here. But to get that ability is going to cost us three of those experience books. So something to keep in mind. But that was good. We've got 30 more gold now. We get gold and we get um, experience between every round. And uh, with that one, what should we do? Should we buy some more block stuff? We're going up against a bat next. It should be pretty straightforward for us. Um, we could go here, so we get some block and some card draw. I could go into, like, the injury stuff. Maybe we'll do that, and I'll explain to you how wounding works. So let's take another fight. Now, this guy is going to attack me for one, unless I can deal five, which I can. So, early on, we might get a couple fights like that, if we get lucky with the card draw. Now that I've got 60 gold, I'm going to buy my second crystal. Just to show you some of what's in here, there's a chance to reflect damage, reduce the cost of a random card to zero, 20% chance to dodge attacks, and all your crystals are unlimited use. So you buy it and you just have it. You can buy more of these, unequip them, swap them around, depending on what enemies you're facing and stuff. Uh, we'll see if we get to that, but I'm going to buy the dodge. The dodge is, in my opinion, massive, especially early on. You're dealing with single enemies. They attack you one time. They're not, they're not touching you at all skills wise i'll show you this skill here so it's called discernment view the hidden effects of opponents and this is pretty important early on i can probably get us through to figure out most of the stuff because i've played it a few times but um this is something we will buy at some point here uh what should we buy in the meantime though well that's that's a good question that's a good question uh, I'll show you some other strong stuff in a second, but I think for now you guys have a basic idea. Let's um, let's buy some extra base HP here, and let's go. So now that we have that dodge, he's going to attack us once. I don't even need to deal with any block. Um, he did have some block of his own, so he absorbed one there. And then we're going to do that. 
And now, because we're dodging, he's not going to inflict that poison that he had either. We can just go maul here. It's unblockable, and he'll be dead. Okay. So, what's our next thing? Spell sword. I feel like the spell sword has reflection. I'll, I'll know when I see the unit, but reflection is very annoying to deal with. Um, but, how can I counter that? Well, I can counter that by having some block. And reflection essentially says, hey, um, we are going to hit you back with attacks. So, having more block, probably more good. You know? The dog says hello. Let's take, um... We could take a block and think here, maybe? That wouldn't be too bad. The quick healer is also really nice. You heal 5 HP between rounds. Because, uh, you don't otherwise. You could also take more, um, dodge if we wanted to. So adding two of these to the deck. If I went here for the block, I'm getting two of these as well. Um, you know what? I will take the dodge. Dodge is very strong. Dodge is very strong. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, so this spell sword, this hidden effect is actually uh, reflection. And it's a 25% chance. So what that means is uh, I need to have block ready. And if I do an attack, there's a 25... There we go. She reflected it straight up. Which sucks because that uses up all the block and I can't attack anymore. Um, so now I could just block more or I could just put on this dodge to have two. And then she's going to attack twice. We're going to dodge uh, both. But she's also going to change how much she's blocking with. When she's at the three here, it's pretty nice. But I have to set up a block. I have to hope that she doesn't reflect this. Let me go unblockable here. Okay, she did not reflect. That's good. Let's see if she does this one. Okay, that's good. She didn't uh, reflect it. But I wasn't getting through that anyway, so it, I shouldn't even have done that. Um, this is fine. We're going to dodge her one attack. No big deal. She's our first little threshold enemy, and she doesn't always appear because the, the order in which you find them is, is different every time. Um, but... If you don't have any type of dodge, she can be really challenging to deal with. So, um, because she's blocking for four here, I would need to hit with this, this, and this, and none of them reflect. I know it's only 25%. You can't see that, but I know it because I've played against her. But man, does that trigger more often than I would like. So, uh, in this situation, I could go block, try an unblockable here. Okay, good. She did not reflect. And then the block is fine, but I'll just play this because why not? Okay. Now, later on, enemy, you're going to start to see multiple enemies. Enemies get way tougher. They have way more status effects. So I'll, I'll hopefully survive long enough to be able to get us there. Now, this has wounding, which is cool, but it's not going to do anything unless I get past the actual... Um, Unless I get past the actual block that she has. So I don't have any attacks in that draw. Really unfortunate. Okay, this one's unblockable. Now, I just don't have any shields in case of her reflection, so I'm going to just have to slow play this one, unfortunately. All right, uh, unblockable. Let's try this. She did not reflect, which is awesome. I could play both of these, but she has shield, so it doesn't matter. We won't take... We don't have to deal with that uh, reflection there. Okay. Nothing that I got was unblockable. Let's go here. So she did reflect that, which sucks, because now I am going to take some damage. So she's, I'm going to dodge one, and, uh, and then I'm going to take one, which is a real bummer. Because early on, you don't want to be taking any damage, but that's how, that's how life is sometimes. Okay, unblockable, good, didn't reflect. Let's just throw this on. And now I just need one more unblockable that she doesn't reflect, and she'll be gone. So let's put the block up, unblockable, gone. Okay, sweet. Now, notice I'm not healing between rounds. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? So there's a couple of things that I'm thinking now, some strategy stuff that I'm starting to consider. Number one, I'd love to get some armor, okay? Early on, one block per turn is super nice. You've got nimble armor that gives you a block per turn but and an extra 10% chance to just dodge attacks, but it's more expensive. Um, you've got the medium armor that's two blocks per turn. You've got the heavy armor that's three blocks per turn. They have all these robes, which are um, impacting different skills categories. Life force, mentalism, ether, and conjuration. Now, the thing with those are 
These you can't use unless you're only using one weapon and shields count as weapons. So that's for a specific build, but life force is like healing and life leech. Mentalism is manipulating your cards and enemy cards. Ether is manipulating your block and enemy block. And then blood magic is trading off HP um, for other effects to help you or, or hurt enemies. There's some other tabs that we'll get into, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself right now. Um, we're facing a cultist next. Should be fine. I think we can save here. Um, but notice that that hammer that I wanted is no longer here. There's an enlightening mace. I can't buy it anyways, but I'm just looking to see what's what's available. You may have noticed on the armor that yes, these are plus plus block, but it's also minus energy. How do you account for that? Well, let me show you. In here, under the constitution area, you've got the ability to take a health increase like we did earlier. And you've got armor mastery. This reduces the armor energy cost on those armor pieces by one each time. So there's level one, level two, level three, and that lets you wear the higher level armors. Um, but you got to put the you got to put the work into it. So I think I might just save this, or I could I could throw this point into here, or I could save and then just get some uh, recovery stuff going. I think maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. This guy is attacking twice right off the bat. If I throw up a dodge, then that's totally fine. And let's do this. I think he might also be taking damage himself every turn. Let's just see. So he's at five here. We're going to dodge these attack. Yeah. So he's got a, a thing under here that's reducing his damage uh, or reducing, reducing his health every turn. So I'm going to dodge this now, so we can just go ahead and do this, and we'll dodge, and then he'll actually just end up killing himself. Unfortunate for him, great for us. Now, there's this discernment skill that I was talking about that maybe I should get, because as we get going a little more into the uh, run, I'm going to want to know what those enemies are doing a lot more reliably. Uh, I do have 100 gold. If I wanted to buy something right now, I could. And I could just like lock in something like this heavy armor. Maybe that's like a little bit expensive. We do have single use potions here that are relatively cheap. Um, and I wonder, this is actually kind of cool. You can just trade 50 gold for an XP. It's costly though. Like that's the rest of these things are 10 bucks. So it's a little scary. This is actually maybe a good way to go. Discernment potion. So I can view hidden effects for the opponents for the next 50 turns. That could be kind of nice as a way to save us some of the uh, XP spend there for 10 gold. Maybe that's what I'll do. And then I could take that extra XP and I could go into like, uh, I could take this one and i could take a little bit of the health here and then i'll come back and i will buy the discernment potion and that should refresh next turn as well so i could buy it again um but i don't need it for like 50 turns but it'll refresh next round i should say so yeah we're facing another cell sword here's that reflection 25 percent uh to reflect the damage so i have to have a block ready and then if she reflects this i can't really attack anymore she didn't if I do this, does she reflect? Got lucky, that's nice. Well, I mean, I guess 75%, that's not really lucky, but that's good. So now uh, we are gonna have that dodge, which is fine. Now when she has four block, it's a little bit more challenging to deal with because I have to not trigger a reflection multiple times. What I can do is try this. She's hitting me uh, for one damage twice. If I go unblockable, she did reflect that, so I'm down to one. So at this point, it's too risky for me. I want to maintain as much health as I possibly can here. So I'll just slow play this. Now, this is chewing into our potion effect, obviously, but it is what it is. Okay, unblockable. She reflected. That really sucks. Um, there's nothing I need to do here because we're going to block and we're going to dodge. So we just let that one go. These guys are really challenging early on unless, like... If you have a range character, they can do a little bit more damage, but they might fail more attacks. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, nothing I can really do here with the four blocks, so we'll just 
skip the turn. Okay, four block again. If I have something that ignores block, sure. But uh, yeah, so unblockable here. Let's throw up a block. Got it. Got it. Very nice. The rest of this doesn't really matter. And unblockable again. Let's throw that up. Don't reflect. She didn't. None of this is going to matter. And then unblockable again. Come on. Don't reflect. Beautiful. Okay, sweet. So we're going to round seven. We're going to have two enemies here. Bandit and spiders. Spiders are going to deal uh, poison. Not something we're going to need to be managing here. Um, what else should I be looking at? Here's that hammer that I really want to buy. How much turn... I have four uses left on each of these. This is a really powerful weapon in my opinion. But this means that I'm not going to be buying any armor for the time being. And I think we gain like 30 gold per run. Or per round. There are some specializations here like Gambler. So this makes it so that you could get twice the amount of gold after combat. 70% chance, or a 30% chance that you get nothing. So over time, that should play in your favor, mathematically. Maybe that would be a good one to get, because that would solve a lot of uh, problems. But it's going to cost me three experience. There's also Defender, retaining unused block energy, or block between turns, but you take an energy hit. But that could be super nice, especially if we go into a card like... Uh, Calm, which adds energy on following turns. Pretty cool. I could also get it set uh, a card as Prime with this unlock, and I could set Calm to be that, so I guarantee start with some extra energy stuff. Um, retaining unused energy between turns. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping ahead there. But this is the other alternative that I'm considering for this run. But man, maybe I try this Gambler. I need to be diligent. And I need to not spend my XP for a bit here. But I am tempted to just buy this hammer now that I have it here. I've always had a soft yeah. Okay. I'm not going to use it yet, though. I'm going to use the other one until it explodes. So now, um, we're getting hit three times. I'm only dodging once. So I'm going to have to block. Now, one of the things, and I wish the developer um, could show this somehow. Because I, at least I can't tell. Um, who's going to attack first? I have no clue. And that's a little problematic because you're telegraphing the attacks, but you, you're not telegraphing in what order they're happening. So I can't anticipate in this situation which attack I'm going to dodge. So I have to make sure that I have enough block for all of this. So let's say he goes first, right? I'm going to dodge once, then he's going to attack again. I'm going to go down to one block, and then I'm going to block this. In either situation here, we're going to be okay. So, um... I can just throw these on. It's not a big deal. But um, as it gets more complex, it would be really nice to know what the order is. Either enemies always attack from left to right. It's most damage first down to least damage or something along that line that would be very helpful. Now, he's going to attack me twice. Um, I could kill this spider and block. Or I could just do this. So I'll have two dodges to dodge both of his attacks. And then we kill the spider. Okay, so now he's got some block. I have a dodge for his single attacks. This is not a big deal. We'll throw down the unblockables here just to guarantee it. And then whatever. We could have maybe got more out of that. No, it would have been about the same. Okay, let's go unblockable. Break the shield. Got a wound. Now, you can't see this again, but this is actually showing that he's wounded. And that means he's got a 10% less chance to hit you. And that stacks over time. So um, just keep that in mind that when I apply those wounds, they have less chance to hit. I should buy that thing that's going to show you guys what these abilities are. Because I think that it would help everybody to just understand a little bit more. Uh, but it's 3 XP. That was a decent performance. So... Yeah, I think what what I am gonna try we're gonna try the gambler and then um, And then maybe we'll try the other thing Okay, that's the goal. All right uh, Shield wise I can always buy this one. I can always buy this one. I don't want to buy that one. We bought our our uh, Next blunt weapon. We have three more uses here. So let's keep going. Oh wait 
Oh, so that potion, I have to buy it every round. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I thought it would carry over like 50 rounds total. But no, I have to buy it between every fight. It's only 10 bucks. So if that gambler pays off, I could do that a little bit more reliably. But uh, yeah, that's not totally the way that I was anticipating it. Okay, so he's going to apply a negative effect. I can't kill him straight up, which is unfortunate. Um, I can dodge that attack, though, so that's good. Oh, he's got dodge. Okay, that sucks. Let's go there. I'll throw up a dodge. So he's made it now, so I deal one less damage. Annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. We're going to dodge that. I'll throw a wound on there. Oh, it actually won't even take the wound because he has to take the damage to get the wound. So that's kind of fun. So now he's starting to like stack this minus damage, which could become problematic. I can kill him. He's not going to do that again. So that will start to fall off. I'm going to dodge this. No problem. But he probably should have been our primary target there. Okay. Let's go here now. We're going to dodge his attacks. Not a big deal. And finish him unless he dodges. Okay, sweet. Okay. So that's my three. I'll tell you what. I am in the gambling mood. Let's try it. Spell Sword and Scorpion here. This is going to be a challenge in my opinion. This is going to be a little tough because that reflection is going to be annoying. As long as we just remember the reflection then that's all I can really account for. So, my dodges aren't going to help me here. I'm going to set up my blocks, and then I'm going to do uh, either unblockable or two damage ultimately ends up being the same thing here. So they're going to tick through that block with all these multi-attacks. Again, situation where knowing who's going to attack first would be incredibly helpful. I can kill this guy. If I go 2 damage, 2 damage, 1 damage. Then he's going to hit me once, because I'll dodge once. Um, this is unblockable. So yeah, I better do that. I mean, it's only once. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. But I do want to mitigate that as much as possible. All right, so now, much easier to deal with here. So we have to deal with that reflection. Um, in this situation, there's nothing I can do because I don't have anything that's going to get through this armor. You still got four. Nothing that's going to get through the armor there. So let's just throw that. We got two dodges. This is my, like, nemesis right now. So I have to throw some block. Unblockable, didn't reflect. Unblockable, didn't reflect. Sweet. If I can get in some armor, I've got guaranteed block every round. This is much easier. But um, I've chosen to go with the gambling route. Will it pay off? Well, we'll see about that. We'll see. Okay. So, unblockable. Let's set up a block just in case. Didn't reflect. That's good. Let's go here. Okay. Unblockable. Good. Didn't reflect. And, yeah, sure. Now I just need one more to proc. Didn't get that. If this first one doesn't reflect, okay, good. I could try this, and if it reflects, fine. Well, actually, no. Because if it reflects, I'm going to take two damage, because it's two damage here. And then I'll have no block. She'll actually hit me for two, which I don't want. So in this, ca in this case, let's just be patient. And then let's try it again. There we go. Sweet. Okay. So now this is like really this, the strategy part of the game, right? It's like, okay, well, I've got one use on each of these. I have a backup weapon ready to go. I have the armor thing unlocked, which in hindsight, I shouldn't have unlocked as early because it's kind of a wasted skill point until you actually need it. Um, however, if I buy like the tier two armor, this wouldn't be too bad. To start out with. This is going to cost 75. It's going to leave me a decent amount to buy a shield next turn. Um, now that we have the gambler thing. This could ramp up considerably as well. 
So do we take our chances? Like a reinforced shield here could be sick. Do we take our chances? Because like these are always going to be here. But if I just buy this one now, I could start using it and just unlock this. I've made I've made the decision. We're going to do it. Okay. So now we've got this equipped. I'm going to have to equip our big hammer next time, which inflicts those injuries. And then uh, the shield is here. We're going against a hoplite. Let's see. Yeah. Let's do this again so we can see what the hoplite's doing. Okay, so nothing right now. He's just attacking twice. So we are going to need some block for that. But otherwise, he's not too shabby. Oh, my bad. That's right. We're starting with block now. So that was a little wasted there. Uh, I'm going to dodge one, block one. So we'll throw these on. I'm a little light in like the damage department, as you can tell. So I probably need to buy some more uh, skills for that. Unblockable. Boom, boom. N none of those matter because he's got that block. Now this is annoying because he'll... He's going to attack, first of all, three times. None are blockable. He's going to spike damage me. But I can kill him here. So I can do this. I'm going to take one spike. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to take another spike. And then if I just go here, I think I still take the spike. I do, yeah. But he's dead. So I lose one. And that's what it is. So I'm up to 115. To switch between offense and defense seamlessly, but you managed to outmaneuver. So I'm at 115. Okay. Hmm. What should we do with that 115? I probably need to buy a shield. And I can't afford to buy this. This is a plus two damage. Now, this, funnily enough, isn't just plus two damage across the board. Okay, this is plus two damage when using shield abilities, at least in my experience. That's what it's been because I've I've run into this before. Um, and that's really good if I get this card, the shield attack, because we're building up a decent amount of block now and deals damage equal to your block. So if I buy that, I should buy this. And I think I will. Uh, let's buy this first. So that's 100. So we're at 15 gold. Let's go here. We're up against a Vitamancer. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, damn. I bought the stun instead. Okay, well, whatever. We'll have to buy that next time. That sucks. It's okay, though. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. We have our dodge to deal with that single attack. The stun is still really good, but there's a lot of enemies that are um, immune to it. Does not intend to attack. Well, you're going to die. Toodaloo. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm up to 75 now. That's pretty good. Shield attack. And... I wonder if this is one of those things where because of Gambler, like if you don't have gold to lose, I think all it means is that you won't get any gold. Right? Because you're getting 30 per round. So I think you get no gold or you get like... 30 extra? Is that what it is? Yeah. Exactly. So you either get plus... You either go up 60 or get nothing. So you can't actually lose what you have. So I don't have to spend it. Um, but having this extra income is really, really nice. Now, these things are all going to start expiring around the same time. So that's something to keep in mind. Um is that you're going to have a heavy spend if you wait until that period of time. Uh, we're facing the hammer here. Let's buy another one of the discernment potions. Now, if you look at this, okay, if we get a bunch of gold, I could just buy XP potions and I could buy the discernment skill, which would be sweet. But until I spend like 150 gold on, on this, it's still in my best interest, really, to just do this for right now. And again, like, I'm mostly doing this so that you guys can see what the enemy is doing. So yeah, this guy's immune to stun. 
right? Which, which sucks. His attack is unblockable, but I've got dodge happening, so not too shabby there. Um... I can do the unblockable attack there, and then now you see that Broken Bone is the effects of... Where is it? This one, inflicting injury while damaging HP. This one still says plus two damage, but you'll notice, like, I'm not getting plus two damage. It's only if I use my shield abilities. So, uh, I can do this to get rid of his block, and then put another wound on him at 20%. So, we'll do that. This is another situation where it could just be a little bit more clear... Um, it's just showing, like, it's plus two damage on, on block skills. Like, here. So, right now, usually you're just doing your block amount, but I'm getting plus two because of the damage there. And then I'm reducing my block by half, so I'm reducing this by one. Uh, which is very powerful. Like, this is quite good. And if I go here, then I get six block, and I can almost kill him. And then I can just go here, and he's gone. Okay. So, we got the plus 60 again. So, the Gambler has definitely been paying off here. Kind of nice. And Lightning Armor, plus 2, minus 2, and draw a card. But honestly, I think our next big focus is going into, like, the, the Heavy Armor area, right? Now, because we get that big surge of gold, it's tempting for me to buy the XP Potion. And just trade that, that gold for something else. Because I have quite a few rounds, eight rounds, seven rounds before I need to really replace anything. So this could give me a nice little boost. Oh, whoops. I might have just bought something. I don't know what I bought. That's right, because you can only buy these one time between rounds. So, oopsie daisy. I don't know what I bought, but that's fine. Do I need more energy... Do I need more, like, maybe I should just go more damage? Like, I've got the Crush cards, which is two unblockable damage with wounding. But the wounding doesn't stack. So if I'm dealing damage from my mace on a wounding card, I'm not going to inflict two wounding. Only going to inflict one. Aggression could be kind of nice because we have the... Uh, sorry, if we add the Column cards to get more energy next turn... You can also, like, mill cards or remove cards from your deck if you want. Add two copies of a single card. You have to do that in there. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Calm exterior can sometimes be mistaken for weakness. And then... Sure your enemies know that beneath your tranquil facade lies a formidable force to be reckoned with. Yeah, maybe I should just take this. I just, I feel like I'm a little bit damaged light in the deck. Okay, so he's not doing anything crazy, but he's attacking me twice for three. So, I can go, um, more energy next turn, which is great. I can go unblockable here, and he's got an injury now. And that's it. Oh, that's everything. So... Yeah, I'm actually going to take two damage here. That's a little bit of suboptimal planning. I should have just stunned him. That's that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, this I can outblock, pretty much. If I go here first, then I can play two more block cards. Actually, I have all the, all the, all the energy. So if I go here... If I could deal, like... If I get this up to... Um, this will go to 6, this will go to 8, I'd be dealing 10. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, here's what I actually need. I'm getting that plus 60 gold again, that is absolutely massive. Here's what I need, okay? I need some regen. This is only 2, so what I'll do is I'll come here... Oh, okay, so... Oh no, it's back, it's my bad. Oh, this is probably what I bought. Yeah, the transmutation. That's what he was saying. 10% chance to gain 100 gold. I mean, look. If the math plays out, you would net neutral if you buy one of these every round. Man, we're just going full gambler build here. I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to buy this. So I heal 5 HP between rounds. I'm facing an automaton here. 
I hope that I can deal with him. I better buy this, just to be sure. And then let's uh let's gamble here. I just no nope, didn't. I imagine you're gonna get it right away when you buy it. Oh, you can also just you can just buy it. Oh, weird. Maybe that was a bug. It should have went away. But all good. Okay, so he's immune to poison. Uh, he will do wounding damage if I take damage from him. Uh, I can stun him, which is nice. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go. Should I go one unblockable here? Then I'm going to dodge and block anyway. So I might as well. And then he takes the wound because of the uh, mace buff that we have. And then I'll just play this. So I guess we'll just dodge both. No prob, bub. Okay, he's going to attack me twice again here. I've got a bunch of unblockable, which is nice. And that's going to stack up these things as well. I have more that I can play. So I might as well. Go here. Now, here's another thing that's happening. Now, I'm playing much before release, okay? So, this probably gets fixed, but sometimes these things don't stack, even though it's the same effect. I don't know why. But it's probably just a, a bug. Okay, the unblockable is coming in super clutch here. Love that for us. I'm up to 115. Five uses, six uses. Okay, that's good. I'm going to uh I'm going to buy this again. Experience is a currency you can't counterfeit. And let me think about what I want it's next. You get to minting your own. We're recovering 5 HP between rounds right now. Tenacity would be really great. Unblockable attacks could be blocked cuz that will become a problem later. Yes, I'll have some dodge for that. But not always. Uh let's just increase our HP here. Just have to go to school in the school and let me buy one of these again. Nope. I might win that one day. At some point, I'm going to have to say, okay, I, I have to just save my cash here. But for right now, I think we're, uh, we're okay. Okay. So Cell Sword has the reflection. We know that. So we want to try and kill this one first. This one's unblockable anyways. And I can kill this one straight up. That means I'm going to take one damage from the Cell Sword. Um, yeah. Unblockable. Wounding. Two. Oh, I can't math. That's a, that's a, that's not good. That's not great. Unless she attacks first. If she attacks first, we're fine. If she attacks first, we're not fine. Damn. That sucks. That was worst case attack order. My bad. Uh, so let's finish you. Oh, she has dodge under there. Yeah, you do. That's great. That's great. Now I have dodge and block, which should be fine. Regardless of the order. Okay, now we're totally okay. But we have to play around this reflection. As you saw me do before. Now when I stun a unit, I don't think that prevents their thing from going off. I don't think it does. I can try. No, I can't. I could try maybe next turn, depending. Okay, so let's set this block up. I didn't get the thing. Let's go unblockable crush here. Reflected. Love that. I still have two block. Oh, God. That's so unlucky. Now I'm going to take one damage here. So unlucky. Okay. So I have to be a little bit more disciplined here. I actually have that block, so I don't need to be playing that first. Six damage minus two block would be sweet. But if she reflects that, I'm taking two. So I'm just going to be... I'm just... Just be chill. Let's just be chill here. Um, throw on the dodge. And then... No matter what I do, I can't get through there anyway. So let's just do that. Okay, unblockable. That's good. Let's do that. Unblockable. Reflected. Love it. Love it. Uh, I better play it safe here. We're just going to dodge her attack. I'm not going to chance a reflection there. 
Okay, nothing unblockable, unfortunately. Energy next turn, and dodge. So we dodge her two attacks. Okay. Um, unblockable, good. Now, if we get lucky, this could be okay. Okay, she didn't reflect. If I do this again, nice, she's at one. Then we can stun. Now I just need an unblockable. Didn't get one. If I do this, then this, it won't be enough to get through her block. These guys are the bane of my existence. Unblockable. Reflected. Love that. I have to block and do this one. Not enough energy because I can't count. Okay. Unblockable. There we go. Holy smokes. For, for my build, she's like a bit of a mini boss. It's not great. You know what I mean. We're at 115. I don't know if we got gold that round. I didn't catch it. I feel like maybe we didn't. But I do have two of the books. Um, how much time do I have left on these? Four, five, and five. Yeah, so I do need to start planning on what I'm going to buy next. To sell me a potion that they so if I buy this hundred right now, then I'm kind of locked in there. Ooh, spiky armor is nice, though. I just can't afford it right now. Possessed armor automatically plays the first card. I think it plays it for free because this is supposed to be like a buff. If it just played a random card and still charged you energy, then that would be perceived as a negative, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so this would be sweet. I just can't afford it right now. If I go to here, kind of preparing my armor thing... Maybe I'll do this. Did you just do a cartwheel in a and I will buy this again. Okay, now you're just showing off. And let's try this. Beware Still didn't win that one. One day, maybe. It can okay, uh, he can't be poisoned. That I know. Four damage, minus one block, that's good. Uh, if I can kill this guy off the bat, that would be great. And I can, if I do this, and this, and then he is going to hit me for two, which should be fine. Actually, he's only going to hit me for one. So, yeah, all good. Plus, he could fail his attack with that injury. He didn't, though. <laughs> Your character's injured, so I'm injured now. There's a chance that cards you play will fail, and it shows you 90% chance now. And that stays there. So, yeah. I guess with him, that wound is something I should have paid a bit more attention to. But now we're just dodging him anyways. Um, unblock. Oh, I failed. 10% chance to fail, and I failed it. That hurts. Let's get rid of the shield, hopefully. And let's go here. I'll try to wound him. That failed. Oh, my God. And what about this? The nice thing is when you fail, it doesn't charge you the cost of the card. And you can fail this too. Like it's, those injuries are pretty bad. Okay. He's going for wounds, but I'm dodging. Good. Uh, energy. And sure. Okay. 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 Both of these need to land. There's one. Beautiful. Extra energy next turn. Block, dodge, why not? And then... I'm not going to be able to kill him here, unfortunately. I'll just stun him. Okay. Unblockable. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we're starting, we're getting into the craziness here. Samurai and bats. I'm up to 115. I've got three, four, and four. So I think I gotta just chill out a bit on the buying. But like part of me wants to keep buying the, uh, part of me wants to keep buying the, the skills. But I, I have to, I have to be diligent here. Because you can see now that reflection armor is gone. Um, I'm going to need to buy a, like, we're not getting any of the rare weapons or anything in here. So, like, I have to now look for those and buy them when I see them. That's the that's the goal. Skill-wise, what do I want to do, though? I'm ready to buy my top-tier armor. 
Um, maybe I should look into some more specializations here. Retain unused energy between turns. The nice thing about this, because so the first thing that sucks <laughs> is that you're minus an energy right away. So you're only starting with two. But if I went into this combo that I was talking about, uh, where is it? Here. And I put the energy card here first. That could be pretty sweet. I could even start to like, I could make a copy of that card. So I get an extra one in here. And I just have more energy more often. Oh, I don't know if I need, if I want to go that path just yet. It's either defender or patient, I think, based on our current build here. There's some other neat stuff in here, like extra uses to uh, weapons and armor. That's actually a significant cost savings. I don't know if it applies to gear that you already have, but like getting 50% more uses out of it is huge. That would make our money go even further. There's also like a poison build that you could try. Deadly Poisoner, so plus one poison damage, but you get a one fewer card per turn. That could be kind of sweet. Uh, because I'm not sure, I'm going to hold off. We're at 115 gold, Samurai, Bat. Let's. Oh, wait, I have an injury. That's right. So in that situation, I do have to remove this because for me, those injuries stay all the time. It's going to cost me 10, not Take the end of the world. Me, Let's buy uh, another one of these. Didn't get it. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. He's going to attack me twice. Okay. If I go four there, then one, then he's dead, and then I go an extra block. I dodge one. Oh, actually, no. I don't even need to. I can do... Oh, yeah. No, I do have to because I'm going to reduce my block by half. So if I go two block... That puts me at four. That will do six. That will kill him, but it'll reduce my block by half, which takes me to uh, to two. So I'll be back here. Yeah, I think either way, it's all the same. All right, so we kill him. I'm at two. We're going to block one, dodge one. And then it lets me play this. So I think that's good. Samurai's hit a bunch of times, as you're noticing. Um, dodge one, block one, put this on, make sure I block another. And then I'm totally safe there. And I can just do these. Actually, I can kill him now. Toodles. Okay. We're in a good spot here, guys. We're in a good spot. Ooh. Okay, so that shield is back up again. I'm facing off against three enemies next round. The Vitamancer, I think that's the healer. The spider, low health. And then the Automaton, who can do those injuries. Um, Up to 155 gold here. I feel like I should probably just buy this shield. Seems silly. But then again, in the military, although on the stars to navigate our way to our destination. Okay, I mean, I am really okay. Here's the thing. So what I'm really getting the damage from on that is this shield attack, which is very strong. But that makes me want to consider something like this and add an extra copy of that shield attack in here. Right? Because if there's like 30-ish rounds, which I think is the case, this takes me close to the end. Because I still have three more turns on this. Yeah. So if I got to round like 30, I'd be stoked. So maybe I just buy this now to be safe. Be careful when you strap that on, friend. The jagged edges are I'll save the rest. But um, I will go ahead and do this now. Add a copy of a card. And we're going to add this one. With your newfound skill, I think you'll be and then I'm thinking I try to go into Defender here, but I'm just, I'm really concerned about the energy, but I can offset that with the card. So 
I hope that's the case. Okay, 55 gold. Let's see what we can do here. We're at maximum health too, by the way. There's no other way I can increase my health. Um, even here, like, if you go into some of this stuff... Yeah, this doesn't... Nothing increases, like, my max health in that section. Unblockable attacks can be blocked. That might be good too. Or I could grab another dodge. I'm, I'm gonna be patient. 55 gold. Let's go. Okay. So she will get to healing. Uh, this is unblockable and leeching, which sucks. He's gonna attack me twice, which sucks. I could stun. Uh, it's wounding. I don't have any additional block here, which is unfortunate. So maybe I should stun him. And then I'll hopefully dodge one of these. Hopefully I dodge this. Hopefully we dodge that. And then we, we would block this. Because this is unblockable. So, like, I could put some damage in here, but I think it's smarter for me to just take this and hope that she attacks first, which she is. Sweet. So, we're, that's perfect for us. Okay. Now. He's attacking. She's attacking. Spider's attacking. This is wounding. We're going to dodge one. Need to block the others. So, this is going to deal three damage, so I have to account for that, unfortunately. Let's do something like this. And now I can clear this. So now, I'm going to dodge one, block one. Let's put another one up. And another one up. This is going to leave me with three block. And I can just kill this one straight up. We're going to dodge this. Yep, that feels solid. Okay, beautiful. Now, what do I do? We're always going to dodge you, so that's fine. Um, let's go block here. Let's go six damage, minus two block. And I still have one left. Let's go a wound for you. We're going to dodge that. Now he's attacking twice. I do have some unblockables here, though. Let's go here and here and here. So we're dodging twice. Not taking any wounds. This is awesome. And toodles. Okay. Guys, I'm uh, getting pretty excited here. Getting pretty excited. Okay, so we're at 115. Gambler is triggered, like, very consistently. So we have our backup shield. We have two more uses of those. We have one more use of our medium armor. So... Worst case scenario... Oh, there's the spiky. I don't have enough, though. Worst case scenario, I can buy the heavy armor. That's always there. Okay? But the spiky would be sweet. But, um... I might have to just buy the heavy... We're going up against a Battle Mage, an Etheris, and a Crocodile. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I think I'm going to hold this. And uh, I will buy this thing for 10. Just to see what these enemies do. Okay. Okay. Unblockable attacks. So these guys can block our un our unblockables, which sucks. This guy's immune to stun, which sucks. This guy's the weakest. Um, these guys are each going to hit me here. If I go energy, I'm going to dodge one. Put block on. So if I dodge his, then I can block their, their other two, but we don't know. So I kind of have to put the block up there. I'm going to take the energy because I think that will help me longer term. And then whichever one I play here doesn't really matter. Okay. Dodge. Block, block. Unless this guy fails. Ooh, look at this. 80% chance to reflect. Okay. So that's a full ignore over there. This dude is not intending to attack, thankfully. Um... Let's ramp up the block a bit here. This is at six now. I need to be at seven. Let's do this. So he dies. I still have three block. 
I could deal five, but the reflection here, we don't want to mess with that. Um, yeah, we could actually... Well, hold on. Maybe I should do this. Go here. Seven damage. So he's down to five. And we're going to dodge that attack. Okay. Intends to reduce item durability? Ooh, I've never seen that. That is very scary. And it's not an attack either. Deal plus two damage to injured or stunned opponents. Yikes. Okay. I think I have to stun this unit and then dodge this. Because I do not want the item durability being reduced. <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, so let's just go energy here. We're going to dodge that attack. Intends to remove all block. Before or after this guy attacks me is the question. I could stun again. If I... I mean, if I stun here... Then... Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Because then if I block... Oh my god, that was bad. Oh, I wasted it. That's right. For some reason, I was just looking at them as if they're the same, but this guy's immune to stun. Oops. So, look, even if... It doesn't matter. If, if she removes all the block... I overthought that. If she removes all the block, I'm dodging this anyways. So, it really doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah. So, I should do this to get rid of that, and then this goes through, so we get the damage... dodge, remove my block. So she counters that other thing that would make all my block carry over. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. If I throw in a dodge here, I'm immune from everything. So let's do that. I've got four damage for one here. Let's go here and here. Okay. This is great. Let's keep it going. Boom. Boom. Eight damage. Minus three block. Okay. And I'm looking like I am carrying block over a lot. So I think if I can get that um, upgrade, that would be sweet. Uh, this will work. Okay. And then that'll make my, my block cards, my block attacks even stronger. Okay, so one use left on the weapons. I have a shield. I could buy this again right now. I could buy this again right now. And then I'm, I'm locked in for another hammer. I'm doing it. Now what I'm not going to have... Well... At most I'm going to be able to get the heavy armor. Right? Unless I gamble and go for this. But I could try that next time as a last-ditch effort. Now, I've got the five that I've kind of been saving. I think I'm going to try this. We're going against Samurai and Spider. So Samurai attacks multiple times, but we'll see that. And the Spider we're familiar with. So I think... Let's try Defender here. So now all my block between turns carries over, which is pretty strong if I can make use of it. Um, all right. I could stun this guy. That'll keep my block going, right? Oh, but that's... Oh, that's right. Now I'm only at two energy. <laughs> Wait. What's going on here? How come I don't have any block there? Is my... Oh, did my armor run out and I've miscalculated something? Yikes. Yikes. Interesting. Uh, okay. I'm going to do this and this, just so I can spend more energy next turn, because something was unexpected. Okay, four energy. That's better. <laughs> it's not great. It was better. Two, two. Dodge and blow. Uh, well, yeah. I should probably go here. Here. 
I'm gonna dodge one, block one, get hit by one. If I go dodge and block, I'm totally safe, but then I'm not gonna be able to cast much next turn, but let's do that. I, oh, what? Okay, I must have misread that. My bad. Now I'm taking poison damage. We love that. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna take more. Oh god. I keep... This whole, like, reduction in energy cost is really, really throwing me here. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. So... I'm dodging one. Taking a poison damage I can't deal with. If I block, I'll block the other one. One unblockable damage there. Okay. Dodging one, need to block one. Or just stun him. None of, none of the other stuff does anything, so I might as well just do this. I thought my armor was lasting longer than my... Um, my items, though. So, unless unless there's supposed to be something on this that says you start with zero block now, but that didn't definitely didn't say that. So I'm not sure. I might I might have misunderstood it. I can go unblockable here. This is his wound. Let me think about this. He's attacking me three times now. Damn. Okay, I think I just have to stun him, unfortunately. Attacking me twice. I can block one, dodge one. This is tempting, but then I will take a damage because I'll go down to... Uh, I'll go down to one off of this. So I'm going to pause. Be patient. Okay. I think I have to block. Here's what I'll do in this situation. Okay, I'm going to block twice. So we're going to dodge one. He's going to get rid of two block, but I'm going to retain two block, which will help. Okay. Now, he's going to attack three times. Times two. So I'll dodge one, I'll block two. I need all of this to block. This does nothing. Can't really afford to play these because I need that block up there. It's unfortunate that he was going for a three attack one there. He's going for three again. So I will have to stun. Also, um, I am noticing like the plus two damage here. I don't know if maybe that like, we just have shield attacks. I don't know if that was a basic unlock or not. We'll have to check. Okay, he's attacking twice. Can I do anything now? No, I cannot. I can... Uh, what I can do is dodge and get energy. So that's what I'll do. So we have two dodges. We'll have more energy this round. I got four. Um, unblockable. Which is great. Slowly getting there. None of this matters. So dodge one, block both, but all blocks being used. Okay. Now he's attacking twice. So I'm going to go block, dodge one, block one, energy. Okay. Well, that's not great. <laughs> Uh, what I can do in this situation is uh, stun him, take a block, and take energy. So that block will get saved. Which is great, because I didn't draw any. This is unblockable and wounding. So is this one. But I might just... Well, I could actually do this. 
Unblockable and wounded. Unblockable and wounded. I dodge one. We go down to zero block. Oh, that was a bit unfortunate. But I only need one damage, so it should be okay. Because what I'm looking at here is like our plus two shield damage. I, I wonder if that's where this is coming from. It's just giving me a shield damage to attack. Okay, I got the 60 there. Hammer and spiky shield used. Yeah, okay, so my armor is gone. Oh, and does this not, is this not been getting used? So I've been buying these. I thought they were just getting used there. Huh, really weird. Okay, equip, equip. So there must have been a durability thing that I missed somewhere. That's fine. But that almost cost us, okay? That was that was pretty major. That was pretty major. So I can buy the uh, the heavy armor now, which is great. It's going to give me plus three block, and I have the uh, offset for it. Let's buy this. I got 25 gold left. Yeah, see, buy and use. I think that might have been from the one that still showed up on the screen that maybe I accidentally bought twice. So, 10 rounds left on all of these. If I get to 30, I'm counting that as a win. So, this is pretty exciting. So, now it's just a matter of what I want to do in here. I am still going to be down in energy, as we have noted. Uh, maybe what I'll do is go to here, and let's prime this, this Calm card. So, that will always be in our hand to start with. Battle Mage and Cell Sword here. Um, I think let's try to buy these so I don't forget and I can know what their skills are. So immune to stun. This guy has reflection. Very annoying. Very annoying. Here's the prime card. So if I do this, we're going to dodge one and then I can start just building up my block, which is kind of sweet. Let's do this and let's go boom. Yep, I can count. And those cards are going to be crucial because, uh, as you can see, we have some problems. <laughs> so immune to stun here and attacking me twice here, but I have eight block right now. Uh, he can block my unblockables. So the most I can cast here is like this one. Unblockable and wounding. 25% she reflects it. She didn't. If I throw in a dodge, I'm going to retain even more block, but it's maybe unnecessary. Beautiful. That's huge. Okay. You attack first. Nice. And look at I get to carry over this block. Now it's stacking. Like now we're in business here. Okay. Here's what I think I need to get into. I need to get to the uh, thing that where I can block unblockable attacks. I feel like that would be very crucial. Okay, she didn't reflect any of those. Now I have 11 damage here. That's huge. Okay. Unblockable, but he can block that. Oh, here. Okay, so I'm uncertain if there's any other way. Oh, look, we did not get the gold that time. I'm uncertain if there's any other way to gain extra energy. Oh, maybe potions. Hold on. Yeah, one energy next turn for five turns. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good for ten, you know. Are there any skills, like any like high-level magic skills that give me any extra energy? I don't think so. I should maybe just save for this. There's this. You get extra energy right now, but you lose one next turn. Get three energy right now, but you lose one each for next turn. But I feel like that's not a consistently good way of doing it. This could help, but it's single use. Magic skills can be used when two weapons are equipped. So that lets you use those. Yeah, I don't think so. There is this. So there's Reckless, where you get 30% um, reduction to success chance, but you get plus two energy straight up. Um, that means not all of your attacks are going to land, 
which is kind of that trade-off, but if they don't land, you don't pay. It just means, like, if you need to block, you won't be able to do that, because there's a chance that it can miss, right? Um, so I'm going to need to... I think I need to save for tenacity here. Alephim, I don't... I don't. We can't buy the thing. We have no money. Um, so if I can start getting into the XP potions and work towards tenacity, I feel like that would be helpful, but let's see if we can make it that far, because I don't know what this guy does. He is attacking me... A whole bunch. And I only have two attacks. Or two things. So I'm going to do block. I'm going to dodge one. He's going to hit me for three. And I'll get some energy for next turn. Okay. Same thing. I just wish I knew what these were, baby. I just don't. Um, seven damage minus two block. So I would dodge one, and then I would go down to zero, but I get seven damage out of it. We'll take that. And then, boom, and boom. See ya! Okay, nice. We got some gold. That's great. Uh, let's go here. Buy the XP potion. Let's go here. And then next round, if I buy, if I get the the good gold roll, and I buy that, then I can get the um, the other thing. Now, so far, enemies haven't had that, um, where or they're not doing a ton of attacks. Not a, not a ton of them are doing a lot of attacks that I can't block. But it would be super nice. Okay, immune to stun. Immune to stun. Now this guy is interesting. He intends to deal his damage as block, and he keeps stacking his block. I know that because I've faced him before. Uh, so early here, I need to start chewing through his block, I think. Because otherwise it gets pretty outlandish. I think I need to play this. Then... Got three, I'm dodging one. He hits for three, he hits for three. So I feel like if I go dodge here, the only downside is if I'm taking three damage for sure if she attacks first and I have two dodge. If I have block, if she attacks first, then she misses one. She hits me for one, I go down to four block. Then he hits me for three, I go down to one, and then he hits me, I take two damage. So that's probably better. Only because I don't know what order they're hitting me in. There's a dodge. That's good. Okay. This is good. I'm going to be at zero. You know, but... Okay. Could be could be worse. Uh, okay. I got four magic here. Four energy. Two damage unblockable. God, she could reflect that, which would suck. Oh, he's actually... He's not stacking his block. Okay, so this is not the guy I thought it was. Which is good. That's good. Um, let's try this. Good. Try that. She did not reflect. That's great. I'll put more block on. Dodge one, block the others. We'll be fine. And I'm going to get carryover block now. Very good. Okay, okay. I have a stun, but I only have two energy here. He's not attacking, which is great. And I have enough block to deal with all of this. The thing is, <laughs> I can't do anything else. So I think in this scenario, I'm just going to go two block and just stack that. Okay. Now he's using block as damage, so that's four. Four times two, it's, that's not good. 14 damage, though. And then I go down to six block. So 14 could just eliminate one of these guys. Pretty sweet. If I attack her and that reflects, like, how bad would that feel? Trust me, it would feel pretty bad. And this guy's getting stronger now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of him. And then if I just throw on my dodge, I'll be fine, regardless of who does what. Um, 
If I go eight here, that takes him down pretty low. Um, then I'm going to sit at three block, which might be okay. Or I just, you know, what, I'm just going to take the extra energy. That's the dodge. That's sweet. Okay. And she failed there, so that's fine. All right. Um, let's try one of these. Unblockable. Sweet. 11 damage. That's good. He's gone. And I can't get through the rest of her, so let's just do this. Yeah, buddy. Unblockable. Sweet. Okay. We are freaking cruising. You know, okay, so we didn't get any gold there, did we? Well, actually... Vitamancer and Hoplite? I think that's okay. That's the pull guy and the healer. Should be fine. Let's buy this potion. And let's go here. Let's see. Man, what if I buy two of these things? Double effectiveness of block cards could be pretty cool. But I'm only getting one of these, but like that would be nice. I just feel like it's my it's my energy that's really hurting me. I don't feel like these are the solution necessarily. But like maybe I can go here. No, but then I then I'm sitting at one energy per turn. Which is really bad. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Cultist is interesting. Plus two energy, but you lose an HP every turn. But as long as I can do these rounds in like five or less... I'm doing it, guys. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, but I've done it. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. I might want to buy more dodge. I'm gonna do that too. Okay. Okay. So uh, what do we got? Four energy now. That feels incredibly good. I'm gonna get even more next round. Let's go uh, block here so I can deal seven total. So I can kill somebody with this, which would be sweet. Let's go here and here. We dodge that. I take that one damage, that's right. Now he's attacking me three times, which is annoying. Um, so I'll dodge all of those. I'll get more block. But we are in a sort of race now. Because of this. One HP every turn. And I've, I've committed to that. I can't remove it. So, I heal up to 11. That's good. I'm at 75 here. We were outnumbered and out of luck. But we had something those brutes did. Sentinel, Soul Thirst, Archer. That sounds kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. If I do this, this regen potion, this could offset that as well. But I have to spend 10 on it every time. But maybe I should do that. For right now. Let's buy that. And we're getting into the later rounds here. So discernment potion. Sweet. Um, X plus one block. That could be like situationally very cool to draw. Because that combos well with this card, the shield attack. Yeah, and so, like, we do have shield attack cards in the deck. Uh, where is it here? Switch tabs, fight. Can I not see my deck from here? I don't think so. But in the, in the, oh, here, here, my bad. So let me look at this for a sec. So we have shield attack. Oh, maybe what was happening is... Um, yeah, okay. So I was losing my mind. Earlier when we were seeing shield attacks because I didn't have any block. So I was just getting the plus two because of this. Okay. Yep. Got it. Got it. We're cool. 
These are down to six uses. Okay, wish me luck. Robocop. Okay, immune to injury, immune to stun. He reflects damage back. Can, uh, un... He can block my unblockables. Oh, he retains the unused block between turns. Yeah, this guy is a problem. Okay. And then here, minus 30% success chance. So, I'm going to dodge some of this. I'm going to tank some of this. I'm going to do this. Can I just kill this unit right now? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. I'm going to dodge one. I'm going to block one, and somebody else is going to hit me. Uh, I have to assume that she's going to hit me. And I can't block it anyways. But this will set me up better for next round. But also, I could just hit her with something lighter next round. Maybe I shouldn't have played the energy thing there, but it's fine. Okay, so now I have to get through his block. And she attacked last, which, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Okay. Deal one here. She dodged. How did you dodge? I don't have an injury, do I? I don't think so. Okay, well. This guy's immune. Wait. This guy's immune to stun. I could stun him. But then that block it just keeps stacking. But it's manageable. It's manageable. Uh, okay, dead. I have four left. We're going to go dodge. Because why not? Energy next turn. And stun. So we're going to dodge this attack. He's up to nine. This might be my chance to go here. We're actually just dodging that attack. So if I can just keep um, stacking here, this could be okay. Because he can attack me. I don't need to stun him. He can attack me and that's fine. I go here. Here. He can't be wounded, which is fine. Okay. I'm still, like, sitting at that 9 because of that plus 1. I have one more round of that. Um. I have enough to deal with this, but... This guy is now going to get double damage for two turns. I have dodges here, so that's not really an issue. If I do this and this... 15 damage, I would take 1 damage, and I'd start dealing him 3 and get rid of all of this. Which would be okay. Or I could just kill this dude straight up. Maybe that's what I should realistically do. I don't know, it's just like... Yeah, I mean, this is just a matter of time now. Oh, look at this. Oh, Indomitable. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the full cost. Yeah, okay. So that's a little bit weird, I guess, because it's all of your energy. Um, but then that's like the end of your turn. You know? It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, this is still fine. I'm just going to try to whittle through his block a bit here. I'm still I'm just taking the thorns damage, but it doesn't really matter because I have the dodge against him. And he just is doing the same thing. But now I'm on a bit of a timer, so I do have to ramp this up. Uh okay, here we go. Block. Boom. And I need this and I need this. Okay. And I'm gonna heal up to eleven. Okay, sweet. And I got the gold. Very nice. So I'm gonna try to not forget to buy this. Mentalist Trident Scorpion. We're always here to support you. Uh, at this point, with these three, uh, 
I had a wonderful Let's see. With a Plus one energy when fighting multiple opponents. Minus one when fighting a single. That's actually pretty cool. I feel like now we're seeing more singles, but and if I lose one, I still have the other um, benefit there. So, maybe juggler. But honestly, what I was thinking is discernment, so I don't have to keep buying those potions. But now I feel like I'm so close to the end that this is maybe a bit wasteful. So, let's try juggler. Remember when you're surrounded by enemies, it's not just about having more energy. It's about turning Let's buy that. Into a storm that clears the Try this. Didn't get it. There's some other stuff in here too, like... It's not bad. Plus one dodge per turn for five turns. Like, that's pretty good. 20 bucks? Let's do it. Let's spend the cash. Okay, so this guy's gonna do poison. This dude can dodge, and this dude's immune to poison. Unblockable. Wounded. If I go here and here, he dies. We dodge this. I take more energy next turn. Net neutral on the energy here. I imagine this updates as well, like, if we go down to a single enemy. Now, this person's going to steal a card. Don't love that. Don't love that. I could just go crazy block numbers here. I'm going to dodge this anyways. What just happened there? Whoa, how did I just... What just happened? How did I take so much damage there? Whoa, that was weird. Huh. Okay. Oh, I have no clue what happened there. Because I'm pretty sure I played this. These guys have something weird. Oh! This guy's got unblockable stuff. Maybe that's what happened. Yikes. That could have been bad. Okay. I've got four dodge, I guess, right now. I think that, that must have been what happened there. What's making me keep this dodge right now, though? Where am I getting, like, the plus two dodge from? I only keep my block between turns. Huh. Interesting. Okay. 22 damage. It's pretty good. Get rid of that guy. Stun you. I must have missed something there in my build. Failed. Okay, now I'm in minus one mode, though. Yikes. Okay. That was a little dicey. So, straight away, I got the money, so... Heal HP. We're on round 27. Sentinel, Sentinel, Rogue. Let's see that. Let's buy skills. Four, four, and four. Hide inside a barrel and roll across the arena floor. What skills could I get here? Just pretend to be a barrel. Aggression. I mean, that could be good, but I feel like I have that block card that's going to be even better, realistically. So... Maybe some stuff in here...
something like reorganize could be helpful. Also, like, I could clear out some stuff from my deck. But what would I clear? Almost everything is valuable to me. And I've kept it pretty tight. Some stuff in here, maybe. Poison damage, minus one card per turn. Stuff like that could be interesting. We'll save it. Okay. Back to plus one dodge. Two times Robocop. So these guys are both going to stack up during their turn, and then you need to be killed quickly. I have five energy. Let's go here. Um, if I do this and one dodge... Actually, if I go two dodge, I dodge all their attacks. And I can take the energy boost. I'm very nervous right now. We're at 90 minutes, guys. Holy smokes. Oh, I didn't buy the... I didn't buy the heal potion. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's not good. That is not great, guys. That's not good. Dodged. Good for you. 12 damage minus 5 block. Caltrops triggers, that's fine. Take the energy for next turn. Uh, damn. Who do I stun? I guess I stun you. Okay, now I'm nervous because that countdown. If I just go crazy eight block here, not really gonna matter. That dodge is killing me. Literally. Okay. Now I pretty much have to go... So hold on. If I play this one... That gives me two block, but takes me down to three energy. And then this will give me four block. So six in total... So that's better. Now I am going to dodge one. Please attack me first. Oh boy. That's fine. I'm down to three. I have five energy here. Ten damage. I need one more. And then I'll Caltrops, but I'm going to dodge out of their attack. So that's all good. He can block this. But now I just need to build up a ton of block and kill him. But I need to do this sooner rather than later. And I could stun him, but it doesn't really matter. Because he retains all of that anyways. So if I go... Here. That gets rid of a bunch. Then I go here. Then I go... Oh, that's it. Okay, that's fine. I just have to keep this as low as possible and get as much damage in here as I possibly can. I have four turns left. I'm gonna go extra energy so I can spam cards. This is tight. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Give me the block thing. There we go. Okay. So, oh, I didn't get the gold either. Oh, that could be my down that could be my downfall here. Unless this finally triggers, which it didn't. Uh because I didn't buy this last time, 
I'm in a I'm in big trouble here. I've seven turns to handle this next fight. Trident, Trident, Spider. Um, I have no well. I do have this? Choice, you know. I don't Just have any other like healing one. stuff. They'll feel every hit. I don't think. I could try some card draw stuff to my old if I get desperate, but that's thickening the deck a bit. Okay, three, three times two, and one. So... I can kill the spider. But I need to have six block. Oh, this is unblockable. He could just kill me, actually. If he doesn't attack first, he just kills me. Which would be unfortunate, but it might be the case. Might be the case. If he attacks me first... Ah, we're dead. Damn. GG's. Pretty close at the end there. If we would have gotten some of the gambler things, cool. If I would have planned slightly different. And there was uh, the one round there where I forgot to buy the, uh, the offset heal. But either way, still a good battle. Yeah, it's a very fun game, actually. And um, I've enjoyed this a lot. So I hope I did a good job in demonstrating it to you guys. I'll have the release date uh, in the description below and a link for you to check it out on your own. Please do. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.